Time now for the big ANN7 exclusive story on the Tswane violence and what really triggered it. Joining me now is one of the top five branch members of Tswane ANC and we're not going to reveal their name uh, for uh, protection of their identity and this member claims to have been at the St. George's meeting where allegedly some members of the ANC said that the mayoral candidate list was tampered with. And of course we want to find out uh, if you are surprised by the unrest that is taking place in Tswane. Um, you know, I'm not surprised about the, intra the unrests. Uh, I'm a member of ANC in good standing, one of the members, uh, top five of the branch. You know, uh, these unrests, they started when uh, Mapiti Matsena, who is the deputy chairperson, um, invited all the ZETs and the top five of the branches to a meeting in, at Oratsar. In that particular meeting, when we were expected to be addressed uh, uh, with the issues of the elections, Mapiti Matsena was addressing us, telling us how proud he is to be in the list and how proud to, uh, to be elected by the people who are in the hall, the people who, are, who know that when is not, he is not in the top five, I mean in the top two, or when he is not elected as a mayor, these people are not going to be happy. They will do anything in their power to make sure that his name is being elected as a mayor, is being nominated, and he is elected as a mayor. So that is not a surprise. And now he is turning things around, goes to the newspaper, to the Pretoria News, and trying to tarnish other people's names and telling people that people were in court last week writing, uh, uh, doing the, claiming the ar ar unrest. It's not true. It's not true. He is behind this. Mapiti Matsena is a deputy chairperson of Tswani. He has in most meetings indicated that he is not contesting Sputara Mukhopa, who is the mayor of Tswani. Surprisingly, he then went to the branches, lobbied them to nominate him. And that was not a surprise to us because this is how he works. And another thing, you know, if our movement cares about us, they would have, you know, eliminated Mapiti because they know at the meeting or at the conference there at St. George's, Mapiti as a candidate, he was not supposed to be there, but he was found there. The PLC, which is the provincial uh, list conference or committee, they saw Mapiti there and they assured us that they are going to deal with this matter because that is conflict of interest. You know in this movement, more often than not, if you are a candidate, you are found amongst the people who are supposed to do the nominations is where you can see people given money to change their minds. And that did not surprise us when we see him there, because that's how he worked, even in the branches. So that is not a surprise to us. And Hopapo, who is our provincial uh, uh, secretary, confirmed in front of us after that meeting, that com uh, conference was collapsed due to the fact that the conference only um, discovered that the list was was tempered with. You know how Papo agreed when we said we want the audit. The meeting was adjourned because they had to go through all the list of the branches in Tswani. They found that the list were tempered with because most of the people who are working in the region, including Mujape Inu, who is our regional secretary, they knew that Sputa's name was top, but surprisingly, on that particular, night, particular day, we found Sputa's name having less candidate, having less nominations. And another thing, Sputa's name appeared twice. There was Sput, there was Kosi and Sputa as number two. There was another David Ramukhopa 
as number 14. You, can, you could see that the votes were divided. They shared the vote to the second candidate, who is Kosi and Susputa Ramukhopa, and then number 14, who is David Ramukhopa. You could see that. But as Swani people, we are not happy. And as a member, we usually do door to door. The people on the ground, after they found out that the name of Sputa Ramukhopa, who is the mayor that they have confidence in, was not in, uh, uh, nominated. And because when we were at the meeting that was called by the NEC at Swabek, Sputa's name was not there, and we were still hoping to hear what the NEC called us for. Then there was an announcement, AN7, to say Tohodi Diza's name has came tops. And people called us to say, what is happening? You know, people are not happy. People in Tswane are saying they are not going to take whatever the NEC has decided on. I don't know if they can see that this is going to take them to lose Tswane. And I know that there are critics that are saying, us as members of the ANC, we must tell people on the ground how the processes are working. The voters are not satisfied.